I present to you the FB-15. Madam Deborah, you're a true friend of the warehouse. Dilly dilly. Dilly dilly! Dilly dilly! dilly. dilly, dilly. dilly, dilly. Present to you the quad vent bag. Madam Tiffany, you're an even truer friend of the warehouse. Dilly dilly. Dilly dilly! Dilly dilly! dilly. 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 Pour some out for my homies. <laughs> uh, Sir Cody, what, uh, what is this? It's only got one vent on it. I was trying to save some money, but it'll work the same way. Uh, Sir Cody, will you please follow Madam Nina? He's going to introduce you to the forklift of misery. The, the what? Ah, ah, forklift of misery. Ah. Dilly dilly. Dilly dilly. 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 Rolling. All right. Can you get some lights, guys. Can you get some lights, please. Lights, please. There we go. All right. Welcome back, everybody. Uh, this is part two of the Lightning X Warehouse Series video comparing the quad vent turnout gear bag and the Brand X gear bag on seeing how well a wet towel can dry in 24 hours between the two of them. Uh, so we're back. It's been uh, most of these bags have set overnight. You remember we put uh, soaking wet towels in both of them, so let's check and see how they did. Dilly dilly, Cody. Dilly dilly. You all right, buddy? Yes. We'll bring a little beer. All right, see you next week. So this towel, well, I could draw off in the shower from this thing. <laughs> this is almost completely dry. There's still a, there's a little bit of dampness to it. Um, but yeah, I would say it's almost completely dry. It's even a little bit fluffy. So let's check Brand X here and see how it did. Oh, wow. I can tell just from opening the front here, there's actually, wow, I don't know if you can see it here, there's actually water in the bottom of the bag. Look at that, wow. The bag itself, or the, the towel itself is, I bet you I could probably wring water out of here. Oh yeah, it's still completely drenched. So, um, out of fairness, I think we should weigh the two of them and see what difference we have uh, in the weight. If you follow me over to the shipping section over here. Gearbags.com shipping scale. So let's get these folded up. Get them all on the scale. This is the Lightning X towel. Uh, 1.25 pounds total. That's not bad. Let's get the the Brand X towel and get it on here and get a read. Wow, 3.45 pounds. That's more than double, almost triple, of the Lightning X towel. So. With that said, I think there's a, a few important things to remember here. Both of these towels, we absolutely saturated with water. They were soaking wet. I would never recommend that you put turnout gear in a gear bag uh, that wet. And secondly, while the Lightning X towel did get a lot drier, um, it's not a magical dryer. So if you're putting wet turnout gear or damp turnout gear in the quad vent bag or any bag, I would recommend that you still have some airflow across it to get some ventilation. Don't just throw it in the bag and throw it in the floor and expect it to be completely dry. But uh, it, I think it's obvious the difference here. The quad vent bag did a lot better in drying the towel. So with that said, we're going to wrap up uh, this video comparing the quad vent bag to brand X on drying. This is the Lightning X Warehouse Series. Check back again soon for more videos. Thanks.
Dude, we gotta get a new lighting guy. For real. Hey, can I take these towels home with me? I'm out of here. Teddy, hit the lights! Do it, do it. Do it, do it. Hang in there. Yes, sir. Storm. Here's your weekly meal. See you next week. Thanks. Hang in there, okay? God for this Bud Light and Azram Bush, St. Louis, Missouri. Ready? Action. The forklift of misery. Dilly dilly. We got to do it like you did when we recorded it. Did I do different? Did we say dilly dilly? Yeah.